Tax weekend, I think, is tax-free mm -hmm. weekend, so that's Ooh, something to yes. mark on your calendars if you didn't get that shopping done. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's probably going to be equally as hot. Mm -hmm. So either day, make sure you've got the <laughs> AC cranked in the car, and of course, look before you lock. Always check that back seat. Today we topped out at 94 degrees. Right now we're sitting in the 80s. Earlier this afternoon we had a couple showers and thunderstorms just outside of our viewing area. A few also moving into the brush country as the sea breeze moved further inland. So here's what it's going to look like heading into the next couple of hours and tomorrow morning. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies, a couple areas of fog like we mentioned earlier, and middle 70s is where we're waking up. That cranks up into the upper 90s and 100s in a couple of locations for tomorrow afternoon. I do think it's possible we see a stray shower tomorrow, but most folks are just going to be staying dry and very, very hot. Feels like temperatures up around 110. Heading into Sunday morning, a little bit cooler. Temperatures still in the mid 70s, but you notice some of those clouds coming down as well as a few straight showers. That is thanks to a cold front. Unfortunately, not going to come to us. It's being blocked by this big high pressure, which by the way is what's keeping us very hot down here. But what we're going to see is a line of showers and thunderstorms moving on this cold front as it's dissipating and the outflow or rain cooled air from this line of showers and storms could push all the way into the coastal bend and that would give us that chance for some showers Saturday night into Sunday morning. What we're also going to be watching heading into the next couple of days is this now tropical depression for moving into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. It's jumped the gun a little bit. It wasn't expected to be a tropical depression until tomorrow afternoon, but the Hurricane Center found that closed circulation, a little bit more organization heading into this evening, and it is heading into some of the warmest waters in the Atlantic. Water temperatures in this area are close to 90 degrees, so plenty of moisture and fuel, very little wind shear, so a promising development zone for this system. So where it enters the Gulf of Mexico is going to be a key factor and what happens to it later down the road. So if it gets a little bit closer to the Florida Keys here, it's going to have an easier time coming up and making landfall a little sooner. It's also going to get picked up by this trough right here in the upper atmosphere a little bit more. It's going to act like a magnet and just yank it on out of here. However, if this moves inland, uh, sorry, into the Gulf of Mexico a little bit further over, it's going to miss out on the bulk of that dip in the jet stream. So it'd be moving a little bit slower and make landfall later. As it stands right now, we're expecting Tropical Storm Debbie to form tomorrow evening instead of late tomorrow night like it was originally expected with a landfall heading into Monday morning. So at this point, we are expecting it to cross the Florida Peninsula and go back into the Atlantic where it could be forecast to re-intensify. Now, another little caveat to this is if it does go on the western envelope of those like I was talking about, it ends up moving a little slower, it kind of misses out on getting pulled out by this dip in the jet stream or that trough. And at the same time, this high pressure that's keeping us really hot, it's kind of nudging its way over. So you can see the opposing flow around these two high pressures. It's a weakness in the atmosphere and an avenue for this to travel, but that would slow it down because these two flows are opposing one another. So these are all things that the Hurricane Center is going to have to work out in their forecast. But here's where it stands, the 10 p.m. update, forecasting landfall Monday morning now instead of Sunday night as a 70 mile per hour tropical storm. So a high end tropical storm at that with watches and warnings already issued for a good part of western Florida. You can see as this kind of bubbles out right here in the forecast cone, that signifies uncertainty in the forecast. But what is pretty certain is a lot of rainfall going into the Florida Peninsula, multiple inches of rain kind of going off the scale here. For us though, we are staying very dry and very hot with just a stray shower over the next couple of days, including tomorrow. So that high temperature 98, lots of sunshine in the afternoon, but feels like temperatures up around the heat advisory criteria, which is 110. So not too far off from where we've been the last couple of days, but we've been pretty lucky in terms of not getting a heat advisory issued. So maybe we can keep that streak going as opposed to last summer when we had a bajillion of them. It's uh, it's those little victories you like to yeah, talk about, is, right? It there. is. It's hot, but not heat not advisory. Not heat hot. advisory. Okay, hot. I'll take it. All right, Kristen, thank you. We appreciate that.